Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zond Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom curtain panel that is pattern based. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zond Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017 under the Recent Files window. I can click New under Families and look for one called Curtain Panel Pattern Based. Click Open, and you'll see you're now in the conceptual masking environment, if you will, family environment. And you have a grid system that is a pattern. And if you select it, you'll see it says it's using the rectangular based pattern system. Now, this is key to understand because this is really dictating what type of pattern grid system you're creating it for and where is it being applied within your project. So you have a whole bunch to choose from and we're going to keep it simple. We'll keep it as rectangular for now. You'll also know you have a few adaptive points, one, two, three, and four. And the ordering as well is also important. Each one that you select, you'll see it says one, two, three, four. And so the order that you're placing this may be uh, key as well. You'll also notice that there are reference lines that connect all four together. So let's say, for example, I want to create a custom panel that has a certain profile that is extruded along these four reference lines to create, if you will, a frame. Easiest thing to do right off the bat is create a reference point <clears throat> and place it on the reference line. You can select that point after the fact and in the instance property view it says show reference plane. You can go ahead and click in here and say always so you can see that. If you select that plane it becomes the current plane or you can also click set and touch it. Now that I've set that as the current plane I can create a model geometry. Let's say we do uh, rectangle and we zoom in here you notice that the size doesn't change what's key to understand is where you're actually drawing that rectangle so I'm going to draw it like this and if we need to we can tab into each of the edges and we can see that we have temporary dimensions that pop up that displays the thickness and the size of this so let's make it a uh, three-quarter inch Zoom in here again, tapping to the horizontal, and make this, I don't know, say a half inch. Something very, very tiny and simple. Um, or you can go large. So, just to make it easier for you to see and work with, let's make this a two inch thick frame and make this a one inch thick frame. So now that you've created that profile, if you will, you can select that profile. Again, you may need to use tab. And then hold the control key down and also pick the chain of reference lines that dictate the path, if you will, of your sweep. You can click create form button here and it will automatically sweep that rectangular profile along those reference lines to create your framework. Now if you need to adjust the thickness of it, you can go back to that particular profile and give it parameters for length and width, if you will. For now I'm going to leave it the way it is. And then um, let's say for example this is the frame system that we want. Uh, let's go ahead and save this as a family and we'll call it custom curtain panel pattern based one. We'll hit save. Now that it's saved, how do we use it? The way to use it is to create a new conceptual mass using the mass Revit family template file. Build our mass object. So let's say our mass object is going to be a simple rectangle where we tell it to create the form, pull it up, pick an edge, pull it in. Let's pick that plane and let's rotate that plane and then pick that edge and pull it up. Now we have a very interesting looking shape. We can select any face that we want and we can actually divide the surface. 
when we divide that surface, it becomes a pattern-based surface to work with. You can select it, and you'll see it says no pattern. You can go in here and pick the one that you worked with earlier, the rectangle. So now that that is designed as the rectangular one, we can use the Control tab to toggle back to our family and load it into the project. Now that we've loaded into the project, all we have to do is select that particular pattern panel for that particular face of that mass object, and then pick the one that has been loaded. And you'll see it automatically swap out the default one for the one that we made. And let's head over and switch it to, say, hidden line so it's easier for you to see. So this is how you create a custom curtain panel pattern-based family for use in a Revit project. Thank you very much for watching.